Welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are going to be discussing a topic that um, someone sent to me is asking me if it is normal for the catfish to swim with the back just like the video I'm going to play you and you may have actually seen it in your pond or may have heard some people talk about it or may have seen it in one or two ponds of some people you know you just see fishes they just start swimming with their back on a reverse mode so instead of going front they are going reverse so is this is actually normal and um, what could be the possible cause and um, what could be the possible solutions so this is let us farm page and all we do here is we try to provide practical solutions to all our agri problems so if you are having any problem in the farm kindly do a two to three minutes video of this problem and send it to me just like the video you watch today is someone that sent it to me so i prefer videos of sending me videos when you are feeding so that it gives me an overview of what's happening but if it's a problem like this just do the video of the something and send to me I will be able to provide you a practical solution all for free so remember we don't have any whatsapp group we don't have any whatsapp page nothing like that so please discard any message from anyone that you are joining anything from let us farm kindly discard that and if you've not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to this channel so that you get the best and ask me any question any day anytime i'll get back to you with sounding and good answers i'll be right back to discuss this Welcome back. So, um, like I said, you know, sometimes things happen and um, you, 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 you get surprised that why are these things happening? You get confused that what the hell is causing this? Yeah. Sometimes it's not really that intentionally they are supposed to happen, but things happen and at the end of the day, you just look for a way to solving these problems but what happens is that some people capitalize at some of us our mistakes or our ignorance to make money because when someone sees this now they can tell it a lot of things for instance if you go to the spiritual way they will tell you oh this is a spiritual attack and this one this one this one this one bring this bring that we bind we do this you know a lot of things start doing a lot of concussion for you all in the name of spirituality and some doctors will say, oh, this is a breakout of a terrible disease that will wipe your farm, blah, 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 blah. You know, bring this, bring that, and we'll be able to provide you a solution. Yes. In the midst of all this chaos, the main thing, the word that really matters to any farmer that has this issue is solution, solution, solution. Now, what is the solution to this kind of problem? So, this is called a dropsy disease. I don't like using terminologies most times because I want us to understand what actually happens. Now, this dropsy disease is not all fishes that you see with swollen stomach that have dropsy sickness. No, it's not. This is where people make mistakes. Most people, once they look at their pond, they see they have this fish with a swollen stomach, they tell you it's dropsy. That's not correct. But first of all, what causes this dropsy disease? It's an infection that affects the bladder of a fish. Now, this infection can happen from the water when the water is contaminated or maybe there is another dead fish that transferred something that this one picks it up. You know, it's, a, it's an infection. Now, this fish inhales the water, it takes in the water, drinks the water and um, the infection affects the bladder of the fish. The bladder stabilizes the fish and it can't stabilize the fish again. So, it flips up. It starts to swim. Now, because it's no longer stable, it's no longer balanced, everything it does, it does it on the reverse mode. If, if, if you watch, it will not swim front, it will always swim backwards. And now it's lying backwards because the thing that gives it balance in the system is already infected and not working. So it's lost its balance. 
you know i'm trying to so that you understand exactly the the thing that magic that causes all these problems now so because of that this fish that is in another dire need of help so for my advice the easiest and the best help you could do is when you see this kind of situation bring out this fish and put it in a separate container or separate environment or pond anything like that don't bring it out put it there next thing is go and buy any antibacteria reduce the water in your pond to 30 percent of the water level and then put these drugs inside allow others to soak with this drug for like two hours before refilling the pond then on the one that you have removed do the same treatment separately to it try and repeat this kind of treatment for the next two three days and after that it's okay but now this is where the issue is this one that has the issue already may not get treated may not get better again it's probability it's a 50 50 thing sometimes the fish gets better if the damage is not severe it could get better but most times it may never get better i'm saying this so that when you try it and it doesn't work the way that you know the fish doesn't flip over again and you don't say wow what well, this guy said no it's not about this guy this is an infection so depending on the damage of this infection is what would say would determine if this fish could get better now for some reasons some people will go and start using bitter leaf from me to you don't waste your time using bitter leaf look for whatever reason it is, I knew when the propaganda of Vitarif came out and everybody was jumping into it, but high concentration of Vitarif water in your pond is detrimental to your fish. It will block the oxygen level in the water and your fishes won't do well. I don't want to start going into it now because this is not what we're talking about today. Probably next time I will discuss extensively on it. So, I'm not saying you should not use bitter leaf. You can go ahead. But in a situation like this, when there is a breakout of sickness like this, don't use it. High concentration of it will even make others to be weak. The one that is sick may never get well. Sometimes, because of our mindset, some people will tell you that since they started using it, there has been improvement. Improvement of what? That is, this is, is, is a very critical fact, but this is how the human mind works. When you are programmed to a certain thing, you don't even want to look at it critically and see what is solving. Sometimes when I tell people, they argue, I say, okay, I want to give you this analogy. If you have a pond of 20 by 50 feet, which is a big pond, how many bitter leaves are you going to press to put inside this pond? What is the veracity that the bitter leaf is working there? Nobody can answer these questions clearly. So you discover that most of these things are used by the small, poor, growing farmers that are struggling. Because in most cases, people that are the end heat are still the smaller ones. The bigger ones already knows what to do. So they do it and they get out of the situation. But you, the smaller ones, you know, you keep doing those things that will keep keeping you down and you'll never come out of it. Like I said, when you have this issue, first thing, change the water, bring out the one that has the problem, put it in a separate pond, then treat every other one together for like three days. The reason you are treating is to prevent the infection from getting to others. And then to see if this other one that is already infected could get some kind of healing. Like I said, it is not a hundred percent guaranteed that it will be healed. If you did not understand what I said, please kindly go back and watch the video so that you will see how this thing is. Or let me play back the video so that you will see and understand this. So watch this video. Yeah, you, welcome back. So you've seen how the fish is flipped up. You can see it's swimming backwards. So everything the fish does 
will be on the reverse. Like I said, it's because of the infection in the in the in the bladder. So this infection, you know, it makes the fish not to be able to perform very well. So like I said, the treatment is simple, but you need to understand it. Once you see it, remove the infected one, reduce the water in the pond, treat for three days. Both of them should be treated. After that, you are treating for prevention of the spread. And then you are treating to correct. But mind you, 50-50 on the correction. On the spread, you get it 100% that it won't go to any other one. Like I said, what are the major things that causes this? It's an infection. And most of this infection comes the water in the pond. So make sure that your water management is top-notch to avoid infection. Infection is one of the greatest problems that farmers have because most of the times it's infection that worries your fish, nothing else. So I hope you understand this. And if you have any questions on this, kindly use the comment section. Until I come your way next time, my name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Lenos Farm. Keep farming till you have life. Hey y'all, come look at this.